Jordan, some of the uh, Georgia players you quoted this week have said they weren't real thrilled about being in this bowl. I was wondering about the perspective from, from your team side. Oh, we're excited. You know, to play in a bowl game is it's fun. That's what you, that, that's your goal, you know, to play in a bowl game. And, you know, last year we didn't get to experience that for the first time in my career. You know, just being back now, it's exciting and we're looking forward to it, especially playing a team like Georgia. So it's better being here on campus right now than not being here? Oh, yeah. You know, especially uh, when you're at home, you're watching all the different bowl games going on. You want to be a part of that. You want to be a part of something special. And to be with these guys for, you know, say two more weeks, you know, is, is you know, nothing you can add. It's, it's everything that you want. And, you know, we're excited about it. Jordan, can you talk about how big this weekend is for you personally getting ready to, to go graduate? Oh, it's huge. You know, my mom, she loves it. But my mom, is, she's thrilled because I'll be the, the first one to get a high school diploma first man on her side of the family and first one to get a college degree too. So my mom's geeked up right now. And, uh, you know, just to accomplish, accomplish it in three and a half years too is, is big too. So my whole family's excited. Would you discuss uh, Georgia just a little bit, and especially how they ran the football that last game and really kind of ran over Georgia Tech? What what do you guys expect? We expect them to run it. You know, they're a running team. You know, I, our pro team and just go at it and stop it. Then, you know, of course, they'll, they'll have A.J. Green back, explosive receiver. He kind of reminds you of uh, Des Bryant, you know, the same type player. And uh, they're explosive. You know, they're big, they're strong, they're fast. And, you know, we got to be able to, to stop that run, contain that. If we contain that, I think we'll be fine. Away from home, you guys hadn't played nearly as well defensively as you have at home. Are you concerned about that, even though it's a neutral game? Oh, no, I'm not concerned about that. You know, we've had ups and downs during the season just like they have. And, you know, the guys have grown up a lot. And, you know, this is just another chance to, to build to build it on the team. You know, even though it's my last one, you want to send it send it into the offseason the right way. So, you know, we're not concerned about all that. We just want to go, and go We just want to go out and go play the game. How special would it be to end your career with a win, though? Oh, it would be great, you know, especially playing a team like Georgia. Uh, you know, just to, just to finish it out strong. You know, even though we couldn't get that win against Texas, just to finish it against a team like this, it would be great. Even though you didn't win, did you sense that there's maybe more excitement and momentum from, from how you played that game? You know, yeah, you can sense that. You know, people ask, you know, is it the turning point, I guess you could say. You know, it, I guess the turning point for me has been all season, watching the team, the way we've grown. You know, we've had the ups and downs, but I guess that game was really topped it all because you saw how everybody grew up that game. And, you know, to see the future and see how bright it is for this team is, is great to see and great to watch. Well, how much of a turning point would it be to win a bowl game now? I mean, this program hasn't had great success in bowl games lately. Oh, it would be huge. You know, I think it would be a great confidence boost because the two previous bowl games I've played in, we haven't won. You know, and just to, just to get that feel, get that – that the winning experience and get that confidence going to the offseason, I think it'll be good. Is the preparation any different do we sense than those other two ball games? Uh, sometimes people say it's how you prepare for the ball. Do you see anything different in the way Coach Sherman does things for this ball game? Or how you know, I wouldn't say I see anything different because we're still practicing hard. You know, we're still, you know, we're focused on the task at hand and that's trying to win. Uh, I would say if, if I had to choose one difference, I'd say the intensity is a little different. But as a whole, it's, it's no different. Tough as a player to kind of go a month without playing a game, and, and all of a sudden here you go again. Oh yeah, it's hard. You know, the first the first couple of weeks you're focused on finals, you know, trying to get that done. Then after a while you're practicing. It's like, man, I'm ready to play the game. <laughs> you know, you the kind of it's kind of like two days again. Uh, but it, it gets hard sometimes. But you know, when you finally get to the bowl site and you get to that that whole week of events, you see it was worth it. So, how do you think the young guys are going to react now we're having been in this environment before the bowl game? Yeah, I think the, the first night they get there is going to be, hey, I, I kind of like this. I remember my, my first bowl game out there in uh, San Diego for the Holiday Bowl. And the, the first thing that uh, got to me was I didn't realize how long the season was. You know, you come from high school, you play in the playoffs, and then you look up, you're in college, you're still going in December. But, uh, you know, I think they're going to love it. They're going to have a good time. And, and it's something that they're going to remember and they're going to they're gonna want to do every year. You talking about how spe you said your first in your family to get a degree, is that right? Uh, the first on my mom's side, first, on mom's the side. first man, yeah. Talking about how special that is to you, and, and you know. Oh, it's special. You know, it's it's exciting for me, of course, to graduate, but to see the look on my mom's face, because I called my mom yesterday. I told her, uh, you know, I finally got my grades back. You know, I was worried about a couple classes, and I passed those classes. My mom, boy, she about went crazy right. <laughs> last night. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's special. It's more. 
I say it's more special for me watching her and her reaction, you know, just to see that happen and see how proud she was, that made me happy. You know, I guess I don't really understand it right now, but just just listening to her and how she was, it was it was great. What's your mom's name? Uh, Joanne. Joanne. How you spell that? J O A N N. Capital A. Capital A, yeah. One word? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Jordan, is there something different about bowl practice? Everybody talks about that you get all these extra practices. Mm -hmm. In August, the freshmen really don't know what they're doing. In the spring, you lose so much of your squad. After doing this two times before, is this the best practices because all you do is practice, but it's with a full squad? Yeah, it's the best practice because, first off, the intensity is different. And then uh, as far as freshmen, when they first come in, they don't really know what they're doing. Now that they've reached that point, they know what they're doing now. And, you know, in the spring, you lose guys, like you lose seniors, and everybody's trying to figure out, you know, where to be, and everybody's trying to build the chemistry. The chemistry's already here now. And then you just build them on top of that. So I think uh, the best practices are both practices because it's just everything comes together at this point in the season. Jordan, I know your road ends here for A&M, but looking at this team and, you know, how the youth on this team, how important was it that you guys were able to get to this point to have these practices? Oh, it was important. You know, I remember uh, – you know, me, me uh, being a freshman coming in, and you, you get more reps uh, during the ball practice, and you know, you kind of, you kind of grow up. You know, you get through that that one stage of the season, and you reach this point of the ball practice, and you know, you know all your plays, you know what you're doing, and you kind of come into your own. So, uh, you know, for for a young team to reach this point is big. For being a senior, you said it's like going through two a days again. What, is that a little bit not frustrating? But you know what I'm saying. I mean, you're only at one game, and you're going through two a days again. Uh, it's not frustrating because you're happy that you're in the bowl game, but you just, I say it's like two of these because you want to play the game so bad. It seems so far away, you know, because you're just practicing and practicing, but you're so ready to play the game and so anxious to play that it seems like it's an eternity. It's kind of like two of these.